All right, so in this project, we're going to be building a simple blog website. Um, so basically, we have a logo in the header. I didn't put anything over here, but you could put, let's say, an advertisement, something like that, maybe a login uh, if you're going to have user accounts. And then we have a simple navigation. Uh, I put this drop down in here just because I don't think we had, we've had any drop downs uh, in our past projects. And then this here is actually the bootstrap carousel widget, but I uh, customized it quite a bit. It has the main image here and the overlay at the bottom here. And then on the side, we have these thumbnails along with the title and some text. And we can click on them and you can see the, the background turns gray and it'll smoothly slide into that particular story or post. Uh, and you can see that it goes either way, it can go right or left. Okay, so that's pretty much the, the main part of this project uh, that'll take the most time. Down here, pretty simple, uh, we have our blog role here. It has a title, we have this information area with the author and the date. We have a main image, some intro text, and a read more button. All right, and we have three posts. On the side, we have a blog search uh, input box and some categories and a side widget, which is just some custom text. And that's about it. Uh, we also have, actually I'll show you the post page. So if we click on a read more, it's gonna take us to post.html, which is very, very sim similar, except it has only one post and it has all its text then we have a comment form down here. Uh, still have the sidebar as well. And there's also an about page, which is extremely simple. I just have some text. Uh, this blurb of text here I put in a well, and I added a class to make it bigger. And then we have the contact page, which is just a simple form, and a Google map. All right, so I figured the last project, I'd make it simple. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to create a new full uh, yeah new folder and I'll just call this the blog that's what I named uh, just a quick name I thought of not too original but that's all right and uh, let's grab the, the starter template Okay, we want to bring that over and the images okay so I'm gonna just bring over the images and I'll go through them real quick so we have blog one two and three are the actual post images uh, we have the logo which I just created in Photoshop really quick and then we have the slide photos okay so that's all we have for images bring those to the IMG folder And now we can open up index.html. And let's also open it in our browser. Okay, so we will start with the background, I guess. We'll do the background and then the logo and the header and then the navigation. So let's change this title before we do anything. We'll say the blog. And then we'll do above the nav bar, we're going to have the header. Okay, the header is going to have a container. And in the container, we'll have a row. And in the row, we're going to have two six column divs. I'm sure that the, the bootstrap grid system is now engraved in your mind. We've used it a lot. Okay, do another one. Six columns. OK, 
okay and in this call we're actually gonna leave the second column blank I don't really have anything to put in there but if you want you can put maybe an, an advertisement image or uh, a login maybe something like that but this div is gonna hold the logo so we're gonna have an image I'm gonna give it a class of logo and we'll give it an SRC uh, logo dot PNG all right it's a good idea to also add alt text I know we haven't been doing that but if you're on a production site you probably want to okay so let's see what that looks like okay so you'll notice that even though we put the the header above the nav bar in our HTML it shows up below it and the reason for that is because uh, by default this the nav bar is set to be fixed uh, fixed to the top alright so nothing's gonna go above it if we keep it like that so let's go ahead and just remove that okay so in the nav tag here you want to just remove nav bar fixed top and while we're at it let's change navbar inverse to navbar default because we want it to be white and now you can see that the navbar is below the logo and this navbar is going to be a little different we don't want it to stretch all the way like this we want it to look like this okay we're going to have a container and then put the navbar in the container all right so uh, for now, let's go after the header, and I'm going to create a div oh, with the class of container, but I also want to add another class called container main, because that's going to wrap pretty much the whole site. And I want to customize that different than I, I than the standard container. For instance, I want to I want to add a background. Okay, we're gonna have a white background. If we just said container and we gave that a white background, then the heading container would also have white. And I don't want that. Okay, so let's do an ending div. Now we can put the nav bar right in there. So I'm going to copy or cut this nav tag and everything in it. And I'm going to paste it in that container. All right, we're going to have to do a little uh, housekeeping here. Uh, instead of this div class container, I want to change this to container fluid. All right, and let's see, we got the header collapse button, that's fine. Project name, we don't want this this um, A tag because we have the logo in the header. And then let's see, div ID. This looks fine. Um, like I said earlier, we don't have much drop downs in, in our projects. We're using a single uh, single tier navigation. So I'm just gonna add a little uh, drop down link here. So how you do it is with a list item and we're going to give it a class of drop down and then in that list item we want to have our link which will just go nowhere and let's see we want to add a class of drop down toggle and then we want to add an attribute called data toggle and we're going to set that to drop down all right I'm also going to give it a role attribute we'll say button and I think that's good so for the text, I'll just say drop down. And let's see, I also want to give the drop down a little symbol, a little caret symbol. 
So right here, let's create a span, uh, span, and then give it the class of caret, C A R E T. All right, and then under the the a tag here, we're going to create an unordered list. All right, and we're going to give the unordered list a class of drop down menu. All right, and then inside of there, we'll do an li and. We need a link. Okay. Let's just give this, we'll say link one. Link two. Link three. All right, so let's just see if this works. All right, so there's our drop down. Pretty easy. Okay, so you can see that our, our menu now is restricted. It's not going across the whole thing, it's in the container. Uh, but what we need to do is get rid of this border and uh, we, we want to change the color to a lighter gray which is going to match the rest of the template okay but before we do that let's add a body background color okay so we need to open style.css and body padding top 50 okay we want to get rid of that actually we're going to do a padding bottom of 20 and I want to set the background to a dark gray okay and we want to set the color to uh, also a dark gray but a little lighter and the reason for that is that the container is going to have a white background so that's where all this text is going to go we're not going to put the dark gray text on the dark gray background alright so let's go ahead and Create the container main class. All right, and that is going to have a background of really light gray. We want to, let's see, add overflow auto so everything stays within it, and also a border radius of 10 pixels which will give it some rounded corners so let's save that all right now I want to add a little bit of padding to the logo so that has a class of logo and let's say padding uh, 15 pixels on the top and bottom all right and then the nav bar let's get rid of that border and we'll also give it a background the same as the, the container. So let's see, I want navbar. We're gonna add a margin bottom, 20 pixels. And let's set the border radius to zero and the border itself to zero and the background. It's going to be the same as the container, which is a really light gray, almost white. And there we go. Now the now this here won't be a problem because obviously we're going to make this bigger. Uh, but that's the navigation. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next video we can start on the carousel or the slider, whatever you want to call it. So I will see you in the next video.